Okay, it's June 3rd. Y'all coming outside? Come on. June 3rd, little update on the onesies. I think we planted these, it's been about a month. You can see the begonias are doing really good. The uh, wildflowers here in the middle, we don't really know what they are, they're growing. Uh, you can see our herbs out here. Uh, remember we had these put out here where we could uh, detach them. If we needed to detach them. Okay. That way they're not gonna they're not gonna blow off the porch. So that's worked out really well. This stuff is growing pretty good. Now today is the first day that it has been hot. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of cloud cover. Um, some of my plants are kind of wilting a little bit. These these herbs look pretty good. We've been fertilizing them a little bit. They look pretty. Uh, there's a begonia. Actually, this begonia is doing better. This thing right here has done better than anything we have. It really looks healthy and good. There's a few petunias there. They're doing okay. They're staying alive. I mean, you can see the water that we've had. Um, here's a little... Uh, tree I would like to take this it's just some kind of cypress tree I would like to take this and plant it down there at the trailer in Florida because we got one like it and it's grown really well I'd like to put it behind the trailer but I don't really know that I have a space for that uh, but I'm going to maybe transplant that I need to take it out of that and put it in a bigger bucket anyway so I'll be doing that pretty soon then down here on the deck with our little planters that we bought. Uh, tomatoes, doing very well. Remember we had two different kind, I don't remember the name, the two different kind. You can see how their heat's messing that one up a little bit, wilting, drooping a little bit. But they are looking healthy. I'm even getting me a few little tomatoes on there. That one's got four on it. And then my little jalapenos over here they're looking good. Got a little pepper going there. So the stuff up here on the deck is looking looking good. I've been pleased with these little containers. Now, one thing I want to do this summer, I want to take this space right here. Now this used to really, my roses used to do great back here. Now the dogs like to get in back here and go to the bathroom and the cat and all this kind of stuff. What I want to do is take all of this right through here. I want to make a raised bed out of that on that side of the sidewalk and a raised bed over there on that side of the sidewalk. This area really used to be fertile, really used to do well. Now, not so much. So I want to do something. I want to get this spruce back up. That's one of my little projects this summer is to get this going again. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any uh, recommendations for me, you can see it does get some sun I don't get some back here like I used to, but if you have any recommendations back here, let me know. I'll be glad to hear them. Now, for my garden, uh, still got a couple of plants that are doing well. Three of my um, squash, they're on the back side. They're looking good. These cucumbers are kind of struggling along here. I did some weeding in here yesterday. I've got some of uh, these bell peppers I had to come back and spray. Been getting bugs on them, so I got some sevens out here yesterday. I sprayed sevens. Uh, I got some liquid sevens, and I sprayed it on my okra. You can see there's something eating them, so hopefully that sevens will take care of that. And then this side over here is the eight up side with my okra. I still got enough. These two rows of bell pear, I'll be fine with my okra even without this side and then I think I have a uh, let's see what is that over there on the very end of this row uh, cantaloupe maybe I think I planted cantaloupe over there but these bells are looking they're growing they're doing okay they got a little bit of bugs on them so the big thing is my squash and my okra those are my two main things I'm concerned with now I showed you last time my blackberry patch I got right here. Um, they're starting. To 
starting to get some blackberries on them. Pretty. We're going to have a nice little harvest of black blackberries here. Not too long. And out here in this bed, where I planted these, when was this? Like last week or two weeks ago? My vinca's already starting to spread a little bit. Vinca is just tough as nails. Now these sweet potato vines, I noticed this this morning, uh, here when I came out here a while ago, they're wilting a little bit. I didn't put anything on them yesterday. Uh, I don't think I did. Maybe I sprayed some of that sevens on them and that affected them some. But I didn't think I did it during the heat of the day. But, you know, like I said, it was um, sunny and cloudy, kind of in intermittent. Uh, and then there were little baskets out here. You know, I told you Tammy likes baskets. I, I just don't. They just don't do as well in baskets because she's not going to tend to them. Uh, the ones in the pots are doing well. That's my thing is the pots. Now, I got some bonus coverage for you. We are going to, um, I'm going to show you some plants we got yesterday. We went to the grocery store and they had them half price. Okay, we went down to Ingalls yesterday and they had a big sign out front and it said, all plants half price. So we got all of these for about $35. Okay, some real pretty lantana and uh, a blueberry, a blueberry bush here and it's got blueberries on it. These are real healthy looking plants. And then uh, some of this Dianthus. Now I like it about as much as that uh, Vinca. It's super tough, comes back every year. I think I'm gonna stick um, these two and one of these Lantana out there in the front because that Lantana likes that full sun. So I'm gonna stick it out there. I'm gonna give one to Mama for her birthday. Okay, so I'll keep one, give one to her. And then they had the little knockout rows here. So I'll All right. I'm going to plant this blueberry bush right here, right next to my garden, my little garden spot, because it'll be somewhere I'm going to be able to keep an eye on it pretty good. I think it's going to get good sun right here. Um, so let's put it right here. I think this will be a good spot for it. clay right here that's for sure Georgia clay but stuff seems to grow in it believe it or not Work right there. It's crazy. These have blueberries on them, isn't it? Got a little dirt on my hands. Eat it anyway. Good. Okay, that's done. We'll see how it does. For my uh, lantana and dianthus, uh, these are just notoriously tough plants. Down here in the south, they work great. So I'm gonna put them out here in this bed that I've been kind of working on, filling out. Uh, like I said, now that I'm retired, I'll have a little bit more time to pay attention to this stuff and you know take care of it. So I'm gonna stick these two out here I think it's going to be a good location. They're going to look good. I think I told you guys last time this is a location where uh, we used to have a tree out here. 
so the ground's like real soft. Super easy to dig. Not like that over there that we just dug up. And this is all almost like uh, just mulch. I mean, like a. is look how soft that is I love this stuff. Super tough. Last time we had. All right, there's the end result there. It's going to be good. Those will work great right there. Okay. The knockout roses I've got over here, and they're doing okay, but you can see they're starting to get some of that leaf rot stuff on them. I did spray some seven to dust on them the other day. But I think I'm gonna have to get some of my some of my stuff for the fungus. Anyway uh I want to plant this other one right out here with these kind of this little offset area right there I think it'll uh, I think it'll do okay these have been slow to grow but they're doing well now this is not as healthy as those other plants we bought yesterday but it's a tough plant it's tough and I'll be able to make it And one last thing I'm going to do while I'm out here. I used to do this with my tea roses. I would make sure that I didn't have any mulch right around the base. Yeah, as I recall, that leaf rot is a fungus. And if you leave the old leaves laying down there close to the leaves that have, uh, they're close to the ground. If that fungus gets on them too. I read that one time. It was a long time ago, but anyway, it's easy enough to do. So we'll see if that helps out. And I'll get some of that fungus I to put on it. Well, I'm glad that's done. Uh, we're getting ready to start having some 90 degree days down here in Georgia. Uh, all that tropical storm, I think, has kind of passed by. So uh, this is the time of the year when it starts heating up. Those gardens start growing. You got to make sure you have some plants out there that can handle that heat. So tonight I'll get out there, I'll put that fungicide on those roses like I was talking about, and um, we will uh, get the rest of those plants watered, and I'll be back in another week or two, we'll have us another update, uh, maybe I'll give an update, I've got some stuff I'm going to do out there in the yard, and then give me any of your uh, information you care to give me about those raised beds out there next to the sidewalk, uh, any opinion you have about that, I'll be glad to hear, uh, anyway, Nichols Retirement Empire, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed you guys have a good day